cure, but if you have a viral condition, you then experience relief within an hour or so. But the reason it takes three weeks to cure is because that's the life cycle of a virus, and, and they generally hide inside a cell and then come out to replicate. Mm -hmm. So if you get them when they come out to replicate, you, you've, uh, they're going to all be dead within three weeks. Fungus, a fungus might take years and years to build up in layers, like for atherosclerosis sure. or some other fungal conditions. Uh, so it may take a month or so to kill all of that. Yeah. Do when you cure the arteries, when you heal those leases in the arteries, all the plaque will disappear. The body will reabsorb it because the plaque is the body's way of plugging up the holes. Mm -hmm. It's a healthy response. See, I, I, I've never made the connection, Don Croft, between the the fungus and the and the arteries. Talk, t talk about that. How is that? What what's going on there? Well, there's plenty of research that shows that that atherosclerosis starts with a fungal infection in the artery walls. Oh, I thought so, it was a nanobacteria. You know, there may be some of that going on, too, that I'm not aware of. But, but it's the fungus, fungus I know as that, well. Well, people with high blood pressure, when they start dapping, generally uh, their blood pressure is normal within a month. You know, there are certainly exceptions, but that's the rule. Yeah, you know, Don Crop, the more we look at this fungus thing, you know, I've been really looking at it a lot since the, this autism connection, this may be one of the big the big things going on other than the parasites is the fungus, huh? Yeah, it's quite a racket. You know, I call MDs serial killers <laughs> because that's what they do. Yeah. That's mainly what they do. Do, do you think they're just one... as healers. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're trained to kill people. Do you think just one broad-spectrum antibiotic or one round of birth control pills can will, will kill most of the... The good bacteria, or does it take more, do you think? Well, uh, antibiotics are all harmful. And if you use a depth for 10 minutes, you'll do you'll do the whole job. You won't need, ever need antibiotics. Yeah. And I don't know about birth control pills. How do zappers uh, work on fungus? Same way? Well, uh, fungi are acidic uh, creatures, so zappers essentially cause them to disintegrate. Just like those worms in that picture I told you about. Uh, what do you? How do you do these zappers? How do they work? Like the Terminator? Uh, do, you, do you just hold well, it? You strap it on your body? Yeah, uh, most people wear it under their clothing, bra strap or sock at the ankle, and uh, or on your shoulder if you're sitting, under your shirt. And it's small enough that, you know, it's convenient. And um, well, and I tell people if you're sick, wear the thing around the clock. You know, wear it on your the sole of your foot at night while you're sleeping. Uh, oh, you mean you you can you can you can use these things uh, 24 hours? Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the best way to, to get rid of this stuff. And you could all the worms in the intestines are apparently killed in about a week at the most. Wow. Yeah, and you start to see the evidence of that within a pretty short time. No kidding. <laughs> I've always heard the life cycle. Uh, parasites are about 90 days by the time you have babies and grandchildren and all. Is that true? Um, well, I think various species have different life cycles, but I understand that all viruses are dead within 21 days. And I know there's some tapeworms that are 80 years old. So, But, you know, you kill all that stuff. A lot of people, when they first start zapping, they'll puke up dead worms because they had some worms in their duodenum or their stomach. And, uh, uh, I know a woman that sneezes out a bunch of dead roundworms after. My goodness. Yeah. And well, how do we get these? Where do they come from? Uh, well, here's where here's where Hilda Clark. Her information is very useful. She was a a research biologist at McGill University in Montreal many years ago, and, I, and I, apparently she specialized in studying parasites, worms especially, and she knows an awful lot about that. So if you read her stuff on how worms operate and how you get this stuff, it's, it's pretty useful. And, and Otherwise, it, you could just look it up. But yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, obviously, I, I guess we pick them up when we travel. Uh, animals, you can get parasites, I guess, in restaurants and stuff. I didn't hear that last part. Traveling. Oh, uh, oh traveling. Lots know, of times if we have animals, we can get them, right? Yeah, having animals in the house, you're pretty well going to get whatever they have in terms of worms. Mm -hmm. um, but if you use a zapper, it doesn't matter. It kills them. And if you go to tropical places, and if, if you're from a northern climate, you're most likely going to get something down there. 
you have a zapper, you won't get sick. You just won't get sick. Because that's where we're, that's where they really live, right? Is in the more in the warm kind of a moldy, uh, musty. Uh, damp- well, they're everywhere, but there are more. There are a lot more of them in the tropics, especially in places that have a lot of humidity. Yeah, I went to Central Africa. I spent a month there. I never got sick. And I used to get sick every time I left the country. Really? Do you bring yeah. your zapper with you? Oh, I took a bunch with me. In fact, it's being promoted pretty well in 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 Africa now and by some of my African friends. Mm-hmm. And the government of Rwanda is conducting a study right now with some of my zappers. Oh, I'm trying to convince them to use the simpler ones because you don't really need mine down there. Yeah, because yours is like a Cadillac because you guys add a lot of uh, cool stuff to it. But you were saying, if you just tuned in, that this uh, $10 zapper that's out there, just it works fine. Oh, yeah. They're terrific. $10zapper.com. That's great. Yeah. Here's the deal. Before the chemtrails started up, I was making zappers like that one. Mm-hmm. And they were curing just about everybody. It was amazing. For 10 bucks. The only thing it didn't cure were a few cases of chronic sickness. But here's, after the chemtrails started up, 1999, millions and millions and millions of people got chronic sicknesses. And that's what induced me to start developing the, the Terminator Zapper with the subtle energy components, because that gives you an edge for getting your vitality back. And Carol really put me over the top of that, and we got together in 2000. So what you've done is if you've taken the basic Zapper, which will do a lot, and then you've, yeah. you've got these kind of really juiced up, called the Terminator, and you, yeah. use, you use like Orgon, Organite? Organite? Well, it's got some organite in it. It has a Mobius coil, a uh, rare earth magnet, uh, some gemstones. Wow. What do they do? Well, what, what? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go through them one by one. Okay, the, okay. The Mobius coil induces the body to produce a whole lot of energy, which some people call kundalini, but that generally happens along the spine, but the Mobius coil causes it to happen everywhere, all the cells. And for people who are struggling to get more energy, this, this has been very helpful. The magnet produces a field, a toroidal field, donut set field, that moves subtle energy very effectively into the body and helps it circulate. And, and uh, I can't back this up with any kind of lab research. I'm just basing it on what my wife sees and what a whole bunch of customers have told me are happening to them. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, but, so you need to understand that. There won't be any funded studies on this stuff. No, no. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not, uh, not very soon. <laughs> Merck, Merck is not going to be doing uh, big studies on Well, this I take thing. it back. The government of Rwanda is funding a study. Oh, they are? They're the first government on the planet to get behind zappers. Well, yeah. I mean, it would make sense if you could get $10 zappers, and, and, and there's so much stuff down there. And that, and that. Yeah, and you know what? There are a lot of cures for AIDS in Africa from local herbs and stuff, and they're well-tested and well-proven. Mm-hmm. But the United Nations put so much pressure on healers and on governments to inflict pressure on healers that they, it's not spreading very well. What's up with those that's guys? That's all changing yeah. right now. It's all changing right now. Is it really? Yeah. They're running out of steam. The Africans are simply sick of it. They're just tired of it all. You know, the more you hear about the United Nations, the more you know that these guys are bad dudes, man. Well, yeah, it's a criminal organization, appointed, self-appointed government. We don't need that. Unbelievable. Yeah, we don't need that. So the coil uh, that you put in your Terminator, it really helps the body to get more energy. Yeah, and this uh, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing thing, and it's simple. And and it's out in the open. If you buy one of mine, you can see how it's made. Mm-hmm. And I invite anybody to. Well, there's a guy in Africa making a knockoff now, and I send business his way, and I encourage him. He sells mostly in Europe. Uh-huh. Orgon is almost like um, like energy, isn't it, or chi? Or, yeah, uh, orgon is the matrix of the universe. Yeah, orgon becomes energy so. and matter. I thought it's so. It's called chi or uh, prana, chi, mm-hmm. life force. Uh-huh. Yeah, it underlies everything. And how do you incorporate that in, into the zapper? Well, um, are, are you familiar with Wilhelm Reich? Uh, I've heard the name, but I don't know much well, about it. Well, you will not have learned about him in school, I guarantee you. He was killed by the government in 1957, but he turned materialistic science on his ear, and he quite angered Einstein and all about a bunch of people like him by demonstrating the presence of the ether and the activity of the ether, which he called orgone. And Reich is on the same level with Tesla and just a handful of other really great pioneers. 